waiting for the ball, which is exactly what G1 do not want. They are desperate to play on the front Ooh, foot. Wow! You can't when coming, oh, oh, passing oh. it around like this. So far, uh, one nil. I mean, okay, look at this recovery from Vatira. He wins the 50. The landing on the backboard. I, I, it doesn't look super flat I'm here for G1, but nice challenge as well from Atomic. And maybe the double tap, he missed it, but it worked as a fake. And we do get a response. Only the second shot so far for G1, and it ends up nestling its way into the net. It was Atomic, who actually beat Vatira. Exotic couldn't believe what he was seeing, his French teammate being beaten to the ball. Truth. How much faith do you think these guys, K-Corp, have in each other to constantly overpower and win every challenge? I mean, there's got to be a conversion right there, maybe 90% of the challenges, but Atomic, hello, welcome back, and we got the second goal for G1. They did say that they weren't afraid to go in when the going got tough, G1. The going was very definitely tough. Did a game for you and the end of the lead, but a lot of the success for G1 has come down to Atomic. 81% goal participation. Itachi certainly going to try and match that number here as he gets the second goal and the second goal to his name as well in game one. <laughs> what a goal as well. I mean, Itachi, he's sharing a pitch with Exotic and Vatira. Keep on trying. Atomic. Exotic gets it past him, marked by eight there into the center, and Ooh. it was one awkward touch in defense, too many, and Carmin Corp take game one. And it looked like Itachi saw this mistake from a mile away. He realized all this pressure was coming out from Exotic, and he's rotating in from the far side. Perfect angle, perfect strike, and KC take the first game. I feel like that developed into a game that was perfect for attack. So we can really attack this air dribble try and make something from it. Materia's touch is awkward. That's gonna let an atomic and it's what? Oh, no. <laughs> After all of this, finally what brings it into the game is a calamitous mistake from the defense. What is this game? Exotic in the midfield. He must have expected a touch from Itachi. Uh, on his cam, he's rotating back. Itachi's on the backboard. Exotic just hits the brakes and it bounces right off his forehead. Coach is saying, do you think, oh, they've made a mistake? Or do you think we forced them? to make an error, but I mean, it doesn't matter what you think for the last game. Atachi's got those doinking skills, yep. what a finish. I was about to say, the doink of a it's lifetime. A and it's Vatira, <laughs> that set up too. Vatira faked the midfield challenge to keep the ball moving forward. See, maybe G1 can change the uh, trend of I mean, Corp making every grand finals, or Itachi will keep popping off the same way he has the whole series. The man can't be stopped, here he goes again, Vatira. Tees him up, Hitachi follows it up, marked by eight. Wow. Left just stranded in the center of the pitch. On the other side, G1 just starting to inch forward a bit too much. Vatira had a chance there. Now it's Exotic Woo. who puts it away. And it's looking a little bit simple for them. G1, they said their mental is good. They won't overcommit and get frustrated, wow. but so far forward the third man there. I, I don't think that would have happened as well if Vatira didn't get a pillar of all of these passes. Uh, getting three assists for all three goals. Ridiculous stuff, and now able to thread the needle. He's also going to get one to his name, a goal by himself, or actually, not necessarily, I do believe it was assisted from Itachi, but the striker, you can definitely credit that to Vatira. I think what we've discovered in this series is that KC... Have you been picking yeah. up? Just give us something different, because it has not been working for the, the first three and a half. Oh. And marked by eight, what a strike. Suddenly, they've got 79 seconds to get themselves three goals, which is very, very possible. Mark by eight with a conscious little redirect. Itachi helped it on its way. Not quite an own goal. The ball was all punch out that last defender, but a quick rotation in from K-Corp saves the day and will stall even more time and get the fifth goal for Exotic. That's a great play from Exotic as well, because G1 were just starting to get a bit more pep in their step. They were looking a bit happier with things the way it was going. So that goal is just going to push them away yet again and the 2-1 Carmine Corp in this series. It's such an important series as well. You're in the first regional of yep. the split, the Winter Open. You are desperate to make it into that top four, and that is why G pressure on that G1 defense. When Carmine Corp get going and get their momentum going, they really pen G1 back. Oh wow. no, and that doesn't help. Yeah, this is a painful one. Somebody was in position for the midfield challenge. I believe it was marked by eight. Rotating back in, he tried to uh, cut in early. The pass from, from G1 is, to me, looking just a little bit desperate. They're booming the wow. ball as far as they can, but... Oh, my goodness. Are always what is it? What? always cooking something. No. has been grinding the map pack. I, I saw this play develop all the way from the blue corner. You control the reset over another defender. Nice. Oh, you got a goal? Thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> He's doing all three. He's doing yeah. it all. He's scoring again. 
again. Somebody stop this man and his positioning. Somebody stop Atira and the setups. Can anybody stop all three of K Corp from dismantling your defense? I don't think so. They're gaining minutes. Yeah. Have to get a goal or two. Have to at least make Carmen Corp think. And it's not happening. Is there going to be okay, a duo play on it. the end of this? Yes, there is, though. Dorito gets them back involved in the series. Yeah, and this is huge for G1. As much as we like to talk about K Corp and the flashiness of it, G1 still have speed, still have the mechanics to outpace and outmatch K Corp in a lane. Oh, what a pass that was from Mark by eight. It just wasn't quite red. This is exactly where his teammates were, oh, but a Formic is there. Bang! 3 2. Oh, and he's flying so fast into the air. You can see Dorito. Perfect 50 50 oh. up the top of the dome into the middle and atomic so speedy to get up just as aggressive as G1 have been. There's been more demos with Tira. Maybe oh. he could follow that one up. The bounce oh. wasn't in his favor, but it doesn't matter because Exotic is there to have his back. You have to close with Tira faster than that. If you let him get to this side of the pitch, nine times out of ten, even if he doesn't score, he'll put the ball somewhere dangerous. In rotation, Atomic was the player who was supposed to move forward, but he Actually parked Ooh. his car directly on the midfield boost and more space for Vatira. And there's the double tap that we all expected him to hit before. There it is, just over the top of two of them with the flick. And then it's like he's in a training pack in that situation. Yep. Vatira just has this inner sense of when as soon as you give them a little bit too much space because you overcommit, they will just destroy you. As we have seen here, another three goal difference in that one right there on Utopia. G1 are gonna need to throw K-Corp don't take away a win Ooh. in this series. And as I, come on, what is going on? Bro, I, can I stand on any opinion ever? All right, I guess I'm just always in Well, there it is. G1 take the first goal, a massive first goal as, as Turtle was. All three players, this is the mistake that the positioning can bring out. This is what I'm talking about. All of this pressure, you think it's gonna let up and it finally does. This is why K Corp are so hard to defend against. How has he threaded that needle as well, Exotic? Look at this. Look at all the parts of the goal that were covered. And Exotic via a bounce. That's, the, yeah, that's avoided nuts. Doritos. Actually, with a better creative setup and so many layers to worry about. Let's see what Itachi has in store to try and get the second goal. It's another bounce shot. All the respect is there for G1 on K Corp. Even when he misses, it still works out flawlessly. Look at this. I, I mean, place your best. Did he mean this? Oh, that. I don't... I'm gonna go no. Was, one minute, 10 seconds left. G1 need a goal. Vitira could be about to do exactly what wow. they've done one, and that's to lead to a third goal for Carmine Corp. They are just incessant on the attack. The Vitira itachi duo. Vitira flip resets over two of them. Ball bounces in front of oh. it. It's not at the execution. Oh. It's not enough. That's not yeah. what you have. Oh, it's no. Cole, Cole, what is going on? How is that not a goal? I'd love to say it's because of brilliant Carmine Corp defending. And in the end, it was with Vatira's save. But until then, you had as it is the two goal swing. And now you find yourself three goals behind. Carmine Corp are going to be making it into uh, our semi finals. They're going to be up against German Amigos. And maybe they're going to make yet another final. It's turning into a season of dominance for Carmine Corp. The only real mistake they've made since the start. ...to win the whole thing, and mm. here they come with a chip on their shoulder, a lot of frustration that they're letting out right now on the pitch against, unfortunately, G1, who are catching a lot of the smoke here. And KC will take the dub. And I, I won't say it was always comfortable. There were moments where you're thinking G1 can get back into it, but for the most part, Carmine Corp, very routine and textbook gameplay from them. Just beautiful, clean gameplay from Carmine Corp. When G1 came forward and they had their moments, and they did have their moments, Carmine Corp never panicked. And you can see there the team camaraderie. That is a happy camp right there, Turtle. Yep, yep absolutely. And that's that's got to feel so good, too. It, having a game...